glasses that I got from my optometrist last week. Um, I have two new pimples from being stressed out about moving to college in a few days, and my eyeliner is super not on point because I did it without wearing my contacts today. But I'm wearing my glasses because they're pink, and we're dyeing my hair pink today, so afterwards, at the end of the video, they're gonna match, and I'll be ready for college, and my pimples will go away. So if you've watched my videos before, you've watched me bleach my hair many times, I've dyed it purple many times, I've done coontail streaks with purple, turquoise, blue. But let me first show you what the pink is going to look like because I tested a strand um, a few days ago and it looks like this. So pretty much like my glasses. So I picked up this new color from Sally's Beauty Supply last week and it's the Ion Color Brilliance Bright Semi-Permanent Cream Hair Dye in magenta. So the reason why I tested a strand of my hair a few days ago is to see whether or not I needed to bleach my hair lighter before adding on the hair dye. But apparently I don't really need to because I chose a strand that was pretty dark. It was like a medium golden brown color and it got to a pretty hot pink color without needing to be re-bleached. So I'm just going to apply this all over my ends, leave it in for a few hours or as long as possible, and then afterwards just wash it out. If you're wondering why my hair looks frizzier than usual today, it's because I washed my hair with a clarifying shampoo and then I did in conditioning because it's supposed to make the color stick onto your hair better. So without further ado, let's begin! Make sure that you start by wearing a shirt that you don't really care about, that you wouldn't mind getting your bleach or dye on. Also make sure that you're wearing latex or plastic gloves so that you don't get dye on your hands and then have pink fingers for days. And I always use aluminum foil to wrap my hair in after I put on the dye. So I'm going to start by splitting my hair into different sections. I'm going to dye my hair one small section at a time about this big. And I'm going to use this brush from Sally's Beauty Supply, but you can also use a toothbrush. Okay, so I've just finished doing all of my hair and it's really heavy. So now I'm just gonna wait for as long as possible. I'm not gonna leave the house and I'll come back, wash it out and show you the final result. Hi, so this is the finished product. I'm really happy with the way that it came out. It's definitely a lot brighter, a lot hotter than the one that I did before. In my last video, my hair looked pretty much red, but it was actually supposed to be a magenta color. And that was using the Pravana hair dye. So this one was using Sally's Beauty Supply Ion hair dye, and it came out to be very hot, so I'm really happy with it. 
I think the only thing that I would change is to go back in and fill in the bleached spots where there is bleached hair but no hair dye. Right here it looks a little bit orange. So I think if I have time, I'll go in to change that. Thanks for watching. If you want to see what color I dye my hair next, um, leave me a comment and I'll see if I can get that color. Hopefully I get to see you soon. Hopefully I can keep making videos while I'm in college. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Bye.